Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Mini, a true nerd, and welcome to Machinki, which I'm assuming means something in a language that isn't mine. But basically, just read this as my little tabletop train set, because it's basically a train set, and I like the idea of train sets, so okay, let's play a strategy train set. Actually, before we begin, something very important to point out. This is a very, very, very early game made by a very, very, very small team. Like, this doesn't even enter early access till the beginning of October. I've got this a tiny bit early, so this is really in alpha stage. Not finished project, adjust expectations accordingly, etc, etc, etc. But, like all games I actually come to quite like, I kind of, you know, sit down with the game for five minutes before I actually start recording properly, just to make sure it, you know, actually flipping runs on my computer and whatever. And sometimes, if I enjoy a game, that five minutes accidentally becomes an hour. Yeah, this game had accidentally became an hour. That's that's generally a very good sign. So say hello to rural England and you'll probably notice that right now we've got a problem which is um we don't actually have any you know trains so we're gonna have to build those. <laughs> I like by the way that you can just zoom right down and just basically explore the rural English countryside. Also thing I really like about this game if you're English and especially if you don't like you know live in like you know London or Manchester or something this game's got something that really might recommend it to you which is quite possibly for the first time in history the obscure town you live in is going to be featured in a video game because this entire game seems to be made up of at least if you've got it in English mode I assume if you've got it in other languages maybe like it's towns from other countries but really really quite obscure English towns are showing up all over these randomly generated maps so we just kind of zoom out a little bit here let's go there's Peterborough, there's good old Barnsley, there's Basingstoke Dean, I couldn't even put that on a flipping map, but there it flipping is, let's find a few more, there's Wolverhampton, good old Cardiff, you may notice by the way that it looks like maybe England's been hit by some form of giant bomb, and all the towns have been kind of thrown somewhere where they flipping shouldn't be, South Lanarkshire, that's a county rather than a town, but there's Derby, good old Derby, there's Plymouth, right, what else have we got around here? South Somerset, which is admittedly quite a long bloody way south of North Somerset, which I'm pretty sure I saw somewhere round here-ish. Yeah, there it is. They're not kidding. North Somerset is, in all fairness, to the north, and South Somerset is indeed to the south. And just to rub it into the towns that do often get some loving games, uh, Manchester is a hamlet with only six people living there. So I like how you can just zoom right down to the hamlet of Manchester, which does appear to be, yes indeed, five houses, one of which presumably has two people living in it, the others all have one. So at the bare minimum, you've got some good living space out here in Manchester, that is some good decent property size. Anyway, this here, this massive great square I've set up, you can choose your size at the beginning of the game, I've gone for like a medium sized map, is basically the area we're playing with. And would you believe, we need to link it all together with trains, you probably guessed that to be honest. The way this game works is, time is constantly ticking by, missions pop in, you've got to fulfil those. As time goes by, naturally technology will just be invented, new trains will pop in, but if you do missions and like pay for special trains early, you can get a little bit ahead of the game and actually get like, you know, diesel locomotives before they should naturally show up in history. Now, now right now that doesn't really matter because uh, they're still working on multiplayer and there's no other AI companies also building trains or anything. So you're basically just fighting against the clock in yourself. So really it's much more of a relaxing thing. But I consider that quite a good thing because I like the idea of quite a relaxing game where you just build some train lines and watch money tick in. I quite approve of that. So let's see what we've got going on here. Yeah, right now it's the early steam age. So the next age will naturally kick off in 1930 anyway and it's 1920 right now. But if I can get hold of 100 uh, coal and 100 timber, then I can get myself a new train now. And I think actually you might miss that train. Because when I was kind of just playing to make sure the game worked, I think I just didn't even get that train. So sometimes you just don't get rewards. However, the first main mission here that seems a bit more important is first passengers. This guy will give me a giant pile of money with his marvellous hair if I can just move 50 passengers between any cities whatsoever. So okay, let's find a good cluster of relatively populated cities and basically build ourselves a train line. Ah, this'll do. So, South Lanarkshire, 26 people. Derby has got itself 25 people. And Coventry over here, 28. Marvellous. So, if we just build, like, a big loop round here, that'll do just flipping perfect. So, the way we want to do that is come out of this kind of 3D mode and instead go into traditional tycoon buildy mode. Basically, all I need to do is slap down a nice station right about here that will work for this here town. There we are. Quick bit of earth moving means we can actually get a nice long station right here. So this station will serve this area right here and will also conveniently serve this tool works if we need it later. But don't worry about that for now. 
Actually, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to shove the station all around this sort of way. Yeah, that'll flipping do. That's going to be, actually, you know, let's just move it more like about here-ish. Yeah, that's good. That's good. So that's a small station. Right now, all we can really do is small stations. And again, we'll put another one right over here just to cover these lads. Lovely. So it doesn't do everything yet, but that's fine. So we've slapped down all those things. Now we just need to slap down some rail. For the most part, the road can be trusted to build itself. When slopes are involved, you kind of need to manually take over because you can't do uh, kind of uh, diagonals down slopes for whatever reason. So now we just need to turn this around here, turn that around here, lovely. And then this is nice and flat for the most part, so I should be able to handle this. That doesn't look very attractive though. So I'm going to see if I can fix this myself. So to here and then up to... Okay, that's a bit of an ugly approach into... That's because that's not the station! And now we've got ourselves a nice long track that can link these three towns together. Now, by default actually, the game sets it so that um, trains can just magically flip around in stations. Obviously, I like to turn that off because it's not realistic. So instead, what we need to do is just obviously create a loop right here. to so just hang on, if we just get this to here-ish. And then just basically make this loop up to... Okay, what if we make that join up to about... Okay, what if we make it join up to... Sooner or later, I can make this... Why is that there? Okay, so we've got a horrendously ugly loop outside of South Lanarkshire there. That's absolutely fine. And we've got a much neater loop outside of Coventry. So now our trains can loop around, come into the station, loop straight back out again, and be back on their way. Lovely. Next up, we're actually going to need to put a train onto this hairline. So probably a depot would be good for that. Let's put the depot over... Nearby to, yeah, South Lanarkshire, that's absolutely fine. They could probably do with the jobs. There's lots of people that live here after all. So, build a depot, slap that down. There we go, one depot close by to South Lanarkshire. Next up, we're going to be needing an actual train. So go into the depot, go into your engines, go into your wagon. So right now, we've just got some really, really basic young stuff here. So this train that's going to cost me, right, 40 money up front in order to purchase. And this one, the more expensive, faster one, is going to cost me 20 timber to purchase. I don't have any timber, so we can't have that one. So we're pretty much stuck with just this right now. So, that's a train, but obviously it's going to be needing some actual flipping wagons. So let's actually buy some wagons. There's quite a few people on this line going to be on the move, so probably I can invest in the more expensive... all but... That only carries 11 versus 8. And the cost is... Cost is... Ah, screw it! You know what? These people can travel in flipping style for the incredibly sexy journey between Derby and Coventry, these two bustling metropolises of industry. Right, let's just get some stuff going on here. Yeah, so, we can have ourselves multiple coach cars. These will pay for themselves. Uh, I'm not sure what the actual upper cap is. I assume there's some sort of thing about, say, weight, but I can't actually figure it out, so it's 100% fine. So let's just buy five coach cars right here. So, we've now got that train. Now we've got to give it some orders to actually tell it what it's supposed to do. So let's just say you're supposed to start off by going here to South Lanarkshire. Okay, so you go there. Next up, I want you, obviously, to move over to Derby. That's your next destination. All right, then I want you to move over towards Coventry. But then, don't actually just repeat that loop, because that'd be a waste. Then you'd be just kind of passing straight through Derby. So as I want it to be a loop, add in Derby a second time, and then it will start repeating. Hopefully, the train will figure all this out by itself. That'll be absolutely fine. So, start that, and now that train will, hopefully in a minute, hang on, actually, to restart time, that train will hopefully set off now, and this is where things get really cool as far as I'm concerned, because you can ride in the trains! Oh, yes! I like the fact you can just ride in the trains. Riding in the trains is marvellous. So here we are, just pulling out of the depot there, and there's South Lanarkshire. Mighty, mighty South Lanarkshire. We are just pulling into... I assume it says it on the sign. I it says it on the sign there. I couldn't see. I think it says it on the sign. Can we see it as we pass that bike? It might have done, I missed it. Right, so now we just pull into here. And yes, beautiful. Well, hang on, there are actual kind of... Oh, I can change side. Oh, I didn't realise I could change side. That's good. I like kind of leaning out to this side too. That's an option. So obviously we stop here and all the um, passengers get on. They are invisible because they're Scottish. Not many people know that, but Scottish people are actually invisible. They secretly rule the world, but you'd never actually know, would you? No. Bloody clever. I can also just go back into one of the carriages if I want to inspect the carriage too. Very, very nice indeed. And just kind of, you know, move myself between all the different seats. 
<laughs> I just want to, you know, pick my seat, and that's absolutely lovely. And go back to the carriages behind as well. That one's only just leaving the station. But no, right up to the front. And most importantly of all, you get to make it go woo woo. There we go. I'm just going to keep doing that. Very important. I kind of want to train with a better woo-woo. If I knew what made the trains go woo-woo, I'd research that. So at this point, you can see people are just piling over from mighty, mighty... Wait, is that Derby or Coventry? Derby, I think. So leave that train to get on with its own business. And yeah, we can actually see if we're kind of in the main map, how many people are waiting at each station. So it's quite possible that we're slightly, you know, at the moment a little bit on the uh, overcapacity side. Because this train can carry 55 people. And right now there's only like 12 odd wanting to actually make a move. And there's 10 waiting over here at Coventry. I don't think people actually have destinations right now. I think like the moment like uh, all these people actually arrive at any station, they just say, you know what? This seems Seems good. I'll probably just get off here and find a job, whatever. There's no concept of, like, people living somewhere and working somewhere else. They basically just enjoy moving around. So, yeah, I think both people got off here and carried on their invisible, invisible lives. And, ooh, oh dear. That's where the unspeakable monstrosities live. So those 19 people now will just head on their way and we can just keep an eye on our train. And yeah, right now, uh, the operating cost of the train is minus three, just because the train uses up money. But in all fairness, as long as you're going on like a relatively populated line, that's absolutely 100% fine. And as soon as we've transported 50 people, and we're already going to hit like 21 as soon as this train actually manages to, uh, to make its way over towards Coventry, then we'll be in excellent, excellent shape indeed. So yes, there we are. Beautiful, beautiful English countryside. And the zone we do not talk about. Nobody discusses the zone. Still, train's on its way. By now, yes indeed. Looks like uh, 16, 17 odd people are waiting there. Okay, so we may have slightly overbooked that train, but that's fine. I'm sure it'll all be 100% fine. So that train now just starts wandering on its way. Yes, indeed. By 1930, I want some timber and some coal. Like, rather oddly, if you decide to service the timber industry, it seems like you actually get paid by just, like, you know, skimming a bit of timber off the top, which is all very, very interesting indeed. So, the journey that wood takes is basically, you need to pick up some wood from a forest, which presumably just has, you know, we assume it's got lumberjacks living in it, in the trees, little tree houses or something. Those logs need to be taken to sawmills. So basically, I need to come up with a nice mechanism whereby a whole bunch of wood is converted into a whole bunch of planks. Aha! Okay. Here's a whole bunch of wood round here, but there's no sawmills round here. Yes, this will flipping do, abso flipping lootly. So let's say, for the sake of argument, that we could have a massive, massive amount of wood being picked up here, dropped off at a massive, massive number of sawmills around here, nearby to Oldham, Trafford and Barnsley. And then, once that's been done, we can take all of them over to various areas around here. We've got, well, that one's kind of blocked off, actually. But ignore that one. Then we take all of them over to these here tool works near Wolverhampton and Mighty Mighty Plymouth. And those are truly the bravest men of all because they sit on the very corner of the negative zone with negative zone in every direction. So bloody hell, you brave, brave bastards. Right, that seems like a good idea. Now, that's going to cost a lot of money, but it's also going to make us a lot of money. And to be honest, this train by now is going to start making basically a very, very large amount of money very, very quickly indeed. Like, it's already, yeah, operating cost 7 and transported 21. So, this train is going to just start heading on its way right now. There's 31 people on it immediately. We're making very, very good money. We're probably most of the way to just getting a bonus. Yeah, we're most of the way to getting a bonus, like 100 reward. That's just a little starting quest, just to kind of teach you the basics of it. Right. This, this is what we need to do. We just need a whole bunch of trains on a great big circuit. Though actually, if there was... If there were more... Ah! This might be better actually. A big circuit round here. Rather than going over to Plymouth, where the monstrosities at any point might come and eat our faces... Looping down south here to these three, hang on, sorry Plymouth, instead we're going to South Somerset and then, oh, Northampton, however, is on a mountain, which is hard to get to, damn it, but screw it, we might have to make it work. So time to see if we can now actually make this all stack together. So, obviously, we're going to be needing a new station, hang on, go into build mode here, oh, okay. What I also want to find, ideally, is some nice flat areas. Who the bloody hell are you? Oldham! <laughs> Right, Oldham is never getting a station. Four people live there and it's bloody mountainous central, so screw those bastards. 
All we need are some nice clean areas along which we can actually build a nice station. So we build a nice station right there. We can also build... This will be fine, actually. We can build a nice station along there. We build a nice station there. Okay. So, we're fine for these three. Then arriving into these areas, that's fine. So, let's get this kicked off here. We want a nice long station covering the forest near Bournemouth. That is then going to come over here and join up with... Uh, ideally, if this covers... Yeah, that covers that. This forest here, also near Bournemouth. Then a third station over here. Move into one station over here close by to this here sawmill. Then round here to Trafford. Loop back down here to the much more easy and approachable barns. Oh, I've literally used up all the money. Okay, I've spent all the money already, which is not so good. How much does track cost? Track costs quite a bit of money, doesn't it? Right, I may have been a bit ambitious with my rail infrastructure. We'll come back to the mega plan. I've just quickly undone some of that. Luckily, you do get your money back, or at least some of it. We just need to come up with a smaller, simpler little circuit as a starting point. Okay, this will do very, very nicely indeed. Yep, yeah, just Oldham to Oldham to Barnsley. Now, get time ticking along as once again I've spent all my money. Unfortunately, I think I didn't get all of it back, but that's okay. I can claim my reward immediately from this guy. Nice. That train, oh, this train is now carrying 41 people, and all those people are paying people. This flipping works for me. That train will just get on with its business very, very nicely indeed. And that is going to just keep delivering in more and more money. Right, back to build mode, back to some actual flipping tracks here. Time to get some flipping industry going on. And then just one loop round here. Luckily, that is not so bad at all. So... Now what we need to do, having kind of built that little track there, and we're running very low on money here. How much does a depot cost? Of course, this is a different loop. So this is ah, That's 50 up front. Were this to be on the same little kind of loopy area, then as a result, we'd be able to, you know, only use a single depot. I'm not sure exactly what the limit for the number of trains allowed in a depot is. Haven't tested that yet. Right, money is ticking down because of the cost of running that train, but that's fine. With 32 people and 38 waiting right there... Pull into the station. We should have an influx of cash coming in right now. And we're up to 78 in the... The train just flipped around. I told you not to do that. I built a special loop for you for this. Oh, fine, whatever. Fine. The trains sometimes just decide to flip around. They're not supposed to be able to. Actually, it was kind of odd. There were multiple different settings related to reverse. I may have got the combination a bit wrong. That's okay. And we've got ourselves a new mission coming in as well. Delivery of... Ah... Delivery of logs into any sawmill. Well, isn't this perfect? We've just been setting that up. And he will actually give me a nice little bonus if I just deliver a whole bunch of logs. Good. Well, this is just absolutely spot on. So, now the point of Depot 1, of course, is what we can do is we can actually have a dual purpose train here. We can only buy one train. That's, that's going to be 40. Right. Okay. And then move over to the wagons. Oh, some of these are expensive too. Right, well, right now we can't afford to actually, you know, move the timber anywhere or anything, but that's okay. We can have ourselves one nice wagon right here, and that is going to carry some logs over to the sawmill. And now we know this thing will just flip itself around, so that's fine. I don't need to actually spend more money actually building any more there. That's good. And you, my train, your orders are pretty simple. You go to the forest and you pick up some lumber from the forest. You take said forest over to the flipping sawmill. That's literally all you do. You just do that over and flipping over forever, or at least until we've got the money to fit out some new carriages on you. So, you get on with that right now, please. And now time can just start ticking along. Beautiful. But you know what? I'm going to ride along with you because you're new and exciting. Also, I'm going to go and hang out in the... We're not allowed to hang out in the... Oh, and oh, I am, I am. It's good, good, good. I am actually allowed to, if I want, hang out inside the lumber carriage. <laughs> Nice. How many games that you hang out inside a lumber carriage? This one does. Oh, and it's nice. Right. Out we come there. Into the station. Good, good, good. And now, presumably, as we arrive in the station, the invisible lumberjacks will just start piling up some logs right here. Because, yeah, there should be plenty of lumber waiting here for us. There was just a bee there for a second. I swear I just saw a bee. That's nice. Uh, wait. Yep. In come the logs. Beautiful. So just dumping as many logs as can actually be fit on there. Beautiful. I think we've actually literally run out of money. I mean, probably my passenger train is now moving really, really slowly. But that's fine. Also, toot the horn. Very important. 
Yeah, at this point, the train is pretty much just moving by sheer force of will. Possibly we have to tell the customers to get out and push. Speaking of which, how many customers are there on that thing? 35 and 39 waiting here for the world's slowest train. Must be operated by Southwest, it's fine. Logs start getting unloaded, and because logs now actually exist here, immediately those logs now start being converted into planks that are just sitting here. Unfortunately, we're not delivering these guys that many logs. In fact, that quickly, they've managed to convert literally everything that we just delivered into planks that are waiting. Which makes me think, possibly, we could have, we could have multiple forests feeding a single flipping sawmill, and that would probably be okay. Yeah, but now, ah, now we've got money, okay. You, my good man, train two, what I want you to do now is go back to the, hang on, which one are you? No, not you, you're important. You, however, I want you to go back to the depot, please. Don't pick up actual planks, just head back to the depot, because we need to actually make some improvements to you now. So screw it, let's actually max this out. Let's give him five carriages right away. And now, other than that, he can basically continue on his way as he was before. But now, he has got a hell of a lot more carriages going on there. Hang on, just wait for him to... Still invisible at the minute. Any second now. There he comes! Also, there's, I think there's a bit of a kind of a Hogwarts platform 9 and 3 quarter situation going on, which is you couldn't possibly fit that many logs inside the depot, but screw it, apparently they're just there. Right, so he's now going to deliver those seven, but now he can carry 35 a go. Beautiful. And all he's going to do is basically go from place to place. And actually, I've just had an idea for how I could potentially make this a little bit more on the old efficient side. So, 35 a go... Can handle that but why do i want necessarily these trains all on the same line no 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 no. what i need to do is take advantage of the oh bloody hell the hills of course the bloody hills actually if i built a second station here that would probably still be in range of the sawmill that would probably work you know yeah okay got a plan now got a flipping plan right demolish this here to make sure he can't use that don't want him to use that what i want instead is uh, a secondary station right by to the sawmill. Because this I imagine is, yep, that's still in range right there. That's going to cost me 72. That's absolutely fine. And then this links to here. Yeah, okay. Now we've got something going on here. Very, very nice indeed. That's technically station 10. Is it? How many bloody stations? Okay, probably because I've been building stations. Oh yeah, the ones I actually had to demolish. Fine. So this train now, its only job is to just keep flipping delivering tons of lumber backwards and forwards. Now what I need, however, is a new... Oh, how's that one going to get over to... Hmm. How's that train going to get over to here? Okay. I also need one line that links this to here... Okay, like that, but this train should never take that under any circumstances. So this is fine, and it's not going to cause any form of actual, like, you know, derailment. So at this point, the planks are starting to pile up, but probably not that quickly. But the limiting factor for planks isn't the sawmill. The limiting factor is how fast we can get wood to these guys. At this point, we can start getting wood to them very, very quickly indeed. So... While that's happening, and while money's coming in off the passenger line up there, how's this doing, by the way? Oh, yeah. I was right to invest pretty early on, because now that thing is getting close to full. I probably could have done with one less carriage, but that's okay. Right, back over to the industrial heartland in the mountains around Barnsley. Uh, I need a new train over here. So, Depot 1. I'm going to need myself a new engine for this. Now, that's a little bit on the... Ooh, that's really on the expensive side. Okay, probably what I'll just wait to do is that train momentarily will be arriving. Also, how am I doing there? 14. Ah, but I'll get an extra 100 off this guy as soon as this train starts delivering more flipping wood. And now that train has got flipping 35 wood on it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now we're making some flipping progress. And it's only 1921. Everything's okay. Now you know what to do. You go over here, deliver that 35, and that 35 will now immediately start becoming planks pretty bloody quickly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is good. This is good. Apparently, you can convert logs to planks really bloody quickly, in fact. Yes. Right. 121. Buy myself a new train right here. Good. So that's train three. Train three, however, its only job is to take these planks over to here to convert them into money and... Well, presumably just money. 
Presumably it needs to have actually have like, you know, the coal ore to make coal rather than anything else. But screw it, don't worry about that. Yeah, just give it... Actually, how much does it need? How much is this going to need? Because I feel like this can just be a single train. And then we need to figure out how to make more forests service that one sawmill. Let's assume for the sake of argument. There's, there's literally only 32 there right now. Okay, let's just say this just needs, say, three. Three is probably going to be good enough. That's 21 ago. Okay, just for the safety, let's say four. That's fine. So that train is now in there. That is going to be train... Yeah, that's train three right there. Get rid of you for the time being. Now, your only job is to go over to station 10. And then, at station 10, you just need to then head over to station 11. That's it. You just go between station 10 and 11. And because this guy's going there, and this guy's going there, as a result, those two should never collide because train 2 has no reason to ever go onto this branch because I've given him orders telling him where to go. There are signals in this game, but I can't figure them out. They just seem to basically stop any train doing anything. They're just basically big no-entry signs. So, possibly there to force trains to take the long route round, but I don't see any way of, like, automating them to say, hey, you can go, but only if it is safe to do so. But speaking of which, I basically need to start off by letting this guy go past. And as soon as he's gone past, this guy can then be told to set on his way, and then there won't be a collision. Okay? There probably won't be a collision. Let's go back into pretty mode, actually. Stay out of build mode as far as possible. So that guy now goes around here. Okay, that should now be safe enough to set this guy going off. This guy passes by over here. And... You plan to set off at some point? Just go. Ignore the next signal. I just want you to basically be on... Okay, now he's on his way. I think he was stuck at a signal. Because the game was saying like, Oh, but that track's in use by something else. So I've told him to ignore any bad signal. But now, he's just going to go around that way. Don't load this train too quickly, by the way. Seriously. Don't. I've got another train on the line, like, right flipping now. Okay, so just chill out for a second. Like, go and, like, get a cup of coffee or something. So that train now just kind of snakes around here. And we'll go onto this branch while this train... Yeah, okay, good. That has indeed just about worked out. So, there's now... There's now 56 planks waiting over here. So this train should... This train flipping better. Now divert down to... Right... Good. Why have you done this? Why have you screwed me over like this? Why? Uh oh. Okay, how do I... How do I tell a train to emergency stop? Because you've really screwed me over right now. He decided he didn't want to go into this one. He decided... Because this is all technically... Oh, this is all the same station. Okay, this is fine. This is absolutely fine. I can fix this and no one has to die today. There we go. I've just quickly amended that. So now there's a way out of here. Now this train needs to just like naff off for a bit. If I demolish this, he will have no choice but to go over to here. And that that's correct. Okay, then we can fix that later. Okay, once we've sorted this out. There we go. Haha, -ha, I've actually managed to find a way to stop them colliding. Okay, now, okay, now don't reverse, actually. Now you actually need to, like, not reverse. So this train now loads up like this. Yeah, okay. So this train is now almost up to 21. And will presumably set off, therefore. And I, did I just, did I give the wrong order to the wrong, I think I gave the wrong order to the wrong train. That's fine. So now you come up here. And that's, that's actually okay. And when I say that's actually okay, it's not okay, because you're all going to the wrong bloody... Okay, no, this is okay. I can fix this. I can fix all of this. All I need to do is that needs to no longer exist. Okay. And then this also needs to no longer exist. Ah, but then there's no way for this train to get back to the... Okay, this is, this is fine. This is all fine. Okay, because then that goes around here. This train will... Aha! Okay, now we got it. Now it's absolutely fine. Now there can be no flipping confusion. When I say no flipping confusion... Okay, if I create a... That, that doesn't work. If I can create a path off, off the, the depot that's like to... To, is this okay? Hang on, I need to create a mechanism 
for this train to get to the depot that this train will never actually use. Because this train's... Actually, you know what? Screw it. This train can just, like, not access the depot for a while. Okay? So now, now this train drops off a whole bunch of planks, which is good. So those planks go over there, and that plank, or rather the planks become, like, a different type of plank. And now I've got some timber going on, which I needed for the steam age. No, I just need a hundred of them. It's taken me two years to get three. So now, basically, I need to get more wood piling in to this area. Also, there's a subsidy going on here. Hello! If I own six trains, then I can have just 25 lumber for nothing. Ooh. If I created a loop with multiple small trains, then that would be a good way of owning multiple trains fairly cheaply. And speak of the devil, there's that well-known loop of Leicester, Portsmouth, and Liverpool. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That works for me. Also, we've got... Oh, we've also delivered the logs. Oh, there's a hundred right flipping there. Nice. There's also... Bra okay, you know what? Bradford's not worth serving. That's... I'm sorry if you live in Bradford, but, but you're not. Um, so we're just gonna have to deal with multiple different lines around here. Now, admittedly, money's a little bit on the tighter side than I was expecting, so... Why have you done that? Okay, fine, there's just some buffers over there. Money's a little bit on the tighter side than I was expecting, so we're going to start off with a nice, simple Portsmouth to Leicester line, then we'll expand it out into a loop, and we've got a bit more money coming in. That's fine, right flipping there. So over here, a Depot 2, we just need a nice small, remember we want to keep this nice and simple, one nice train there, and then the nice cheap trains. That's okay, they don't have much capacity, but we will ultimately have like multiple of them looping around here. So we can just have four of them, nice and simple, you, your job over there, train four, hang on, just give you some nice orders, you start here at Portsmouth, you go here to Leicester, that's pretty much your job for now, so you get on with that, lovely. Right, start time ticking along here, and we'll also start getting some more money coming in while you're doing that. Meanwhile, the commuter line over here with South Lanarkshire and Derby is just doing a good job, just quietly, quietly, quietly making a load of money for us. And over here, yes indeed, we've now sorted out all our problems around here, albeit with the small problem that... I think we're struggling to deliver sufficient wood to actually get, like, you know, enough actual planks heading in that direction. Now, where's the nearest forest? Oh, yeah, I was really optimistic with my first plan, wasn't I? Yes. Yes, I flipping was. <laughs> Railways are expensive. Liverpool, however... Ah, because the station's already built, people have already started waiting for trade. <laughs> Someone should point out to them, there are certain problems with this uh, train line so far. Like, the probability of a train showing up imminently is not high. So in terms of getting a new train, the lumber is now coming in. That's fine, but we're still going to need coal. We're going to need coal, and also, I need more flipping trains. Right, so I need to take coal to a place that works coal. Is that what you do as well? Yeah, that can convert four coal into coal. Okay, that works for me, because coal isn't a thing that needs to be put onto a train. Coal is just a thing that I receive. So if I build two train stations around a work spot that's... Ah. Hello. Well, this just flipping works, doesn't it? Yes. We've got two coal mines here. Also deforestation. You want a thousand logs from the forest near Cardiff. Where's bloody that? Okay, well, technically there is a sawmill nearby. Yes, that is theoretically possible. What are you offering me for said thing? You are going to give me... Ooh, 300. You know what? I need to get more trains anyway. I see no reason why we shouldn't just do that nice and easy. Give the work to, well, either Milton Keynes or Wolverhampton. Wolverhampton has literally one person living in it. He's probably already got a job because he's got two bloody sawmills to choose from. Yes, you know what? We're going to give the work to Milton Keynes. Right. The actual track, etc. is nice and easy to afford, but I'm going to need to wait a little bit to actually get the trains going on. So... Hang the flip on. You know, I shouldn't have done that. I should have spent the money flipping finally closing off the flipping Leicester Portsmouth Liverpool circular. But on the plus side, yeah, we'll soon get a big pile of money out of this guy because timber is coming over towards a tool yard. In fact, as we're going to be building new trains imminently anyway, we probably don't need to bother with the circular plan here. We can simply adjust your orders to say after you've gone to station 14, pass on to station... Oh, bloody hell. Right, there's quite a few people there. Um, as that's now going to become... Okay. 
You need to go back to, oh, don't do that. No, no, don't do that. Take that off. Return to the depot at some point, please. We'll check back in on him later. He'll probably go to the depot. Can I actually force him to go to the, the depot? You go to the depot. There we go. Apologies to passengers, by the way. Uh, this service will no longer be going to Leicester. Uh, instead, this service will be going to Depot 2. Uh, so apologies for any inconvenience caused. We at Southwest Trains wish you a pleasant evening. Because we need to give these guys some new actual flipping capacity here, which is... Actually, can we can we sell these? Uh, if we just drag and drop these off, can these actually individually be sold at this point? No, I don't think they can, but let's just actually toss in a couple of extra coach cars, just to actually... And also, let's actually... Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is good. Right, this down here, and then up at the end there. Yeah, this is right. Now we can make the train, like, symmetrical. Yeah, that's good. Symmetrical train. Right, I'm happy with that now. Right, uh, so back to you. Remove that order. Now that the train is much bigger, the train will go to here. Then it will loop round to here. Then it will loop round to here. Then it will do back to here. That's your job now, okay? So off you pop, please. Lovely. And if I just keep this little operation as it is, this is about right. There's now, yeah, there's 17 planks there. This guy's got capacity of 21. You're delivering 35 a go off a shorter journey. 35 to 3 into 2 will become like 22-ish or something. So actually, we should have about the right amount of capacity on these lines. So yeah, if I just keep things as they are, we won't need to bother expanding any of that. This all works nicely. And the coal situation is getting more important. Because we need coal ourselves in order to actually get ourselves a new train. And some guy has just shown up and demanded coal be actually moved around. Needs 200 units of coal to any tool works. Okay. Well, there's a tool works right here. And a whole big amount of coal that could start servicing that. How long have I got for that? I've got... There's literally no time limit. Good. But I do have a time limit over here. 1930 for 100 coal there. What are you paying me, by the way? You're paying me 20 coal for delivering 200 coal. Mitch, I get coal for just delivering it anyway, so... I'll probably get more than that just in the day-to-day -day running of the business. I'm already up to 55 lumber here for delivering this guy's lumber. He's just going to give me another 20 lumber when we're done. Now, actually, speaking of that, now I've got lumber, I could buy the train with... Ah, I could buy a new train with lumber. That'd save some money, because money is a bit of a limited commodity right now. Actually, we could start it off a lot more simply. We could just have one coming from Sandwell, one coming from North Somerset, and then if need be, we could expand it down to add a second and a second. Yeah, okay. That'll work. That would flipping work pretty nicely. And the money should be coming in pretty quickly right now. Yeah, we've got this train doing good business. We've got this train's doing some good business as well. Actually, if I just buy one more train, I get a subsidy of 25 lumber, which I can actually use to buy more trains. So the train situation is not a major problem. There we go. There's some nice flat lands to work on right there. So we've got one station there, one station there. That'll be fine. Next to this thing, we've got, yeah, we've got some nice flats we can use around here. That shouldn't be a problem. Around over here. Yeah, some nice flat we can use. Okay. That will be absolutely fine. Now, get rid of the quest for the time being. Now, I just need to plop down a station. Ah, yeah, this station. Don't do the bloody wrong one. Right, so, shouldn't need much here, to be honest. We can just have, yeah, we'll just have a five-long station there. And that is going to be coming over to here. Okay, beautiful. And we're also going to have another long station here. One, two, three, four, five. Which is going to come to... Okay, I've already spent all of the money... Where'd all the money go? Passenger trains, bloody pick up more people. Okay, hang on. What's going on with this train? Because this train seems to be not delivering anything. Why are you not... It's because the station isn't close enough to the forest. Right. I see the problem we've got here. Right, you just stop. And when you say stop, they really do stop. Okay, carry on. Just, just be on your way, please. Uh, but I need to slightly reposition this bloody station, because bloody genius. Right, money coming in off ticket sales. Pretty nice and fast, all things considered, which works for me. So, that is starting to pile up over there. Now I just need to have some basic track that's going to bring me to... Okay, this is apparently is a little bit on the expensive side. Okay, if I just bring this track to here, 
and then just loop this track round here. Then this should be fine to just go straight over the top, right? And then round two here. Yeah, the game really struggles with diagonals. And then we've got the... Okay, ah, sorry, that was that was already in the right position, was it? And then... Yeah, that'll do. That's a little bit inefficient, but it'll be fine. So, now we've got the ability to run a train from Sandwell over to the Toolworks, also near Sandwell. So, the one guy who lives in this one house has got... Also, that's an amazing road. You mighty, mighty engineering geniuses in Sandwell. Right, building mode. Obviously, we're going to be needing a depot dropped off in this area because we need to create trains. And there's going to be plenty of trains required in this area. So, 54 right there. That's fine. We can just about afford that right now. But the money has also run out, so all the trains are now going to actually basically grind to a halt. But that's perfectly okay. And Liverpool's always a big money maker because there are people just desperately queuing to get out of Liverpool. There we go. Liverpool makes the damn money. Now, Depot 4. At this point, we can indeed buy ourselves a... Ooh, a faster engine. Yeah, okay, the operating cost is higher. But I wouldn't need to... Ooh, it's faster. I like the fact it's faster and I don't need to spend money on it. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Let's go for a new faster train. Boom. Now, obviously, we know what we're doing here. This train literally needs to do only one thing. It just needs to take a bunch of... Ooh. Okay. High capacity trucks that I can actually buy with flipping lumber. Yeah, I feel like... Oh, hang on. You're about to give me lumber. Oh, yeah. You're about to give me lumber and... Wait, what? I've also, ah, I've owned six trains. That's more lumber. Nice. Okay, good. Now, with all that lumber, I'm going to buy myself a great big pile of high-capacity trucks here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is going to flipping work right here. So, one, two, three, and four, and screw it, five. That's probably massively overkill, but whatever. Right, so, your orders are pretty simple for the time being. You come here, you get the flipping coal. Then you come over here and you dump the coal at the place where you dump the coal, all right? You get on with that for the time being. Now, there's plenty of coal waiting for you there. And as money... Oh, money's already coming in. Oh, money's already coming in times a lot. Yeah, 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 this is good. Okay. Well, as the money's already coming in off all those rewards, this is probably... Okay. Don't just spend all the money on the coal trade, as tempting as that is. Before we do that, before we do any of that... Focus on how can we make some nice easy money through passengers. Okay, there's some decent sized towns down here relatively close together, but bloody hell is it going to be a pain to build actual train stations near to them because they're all in the bloody mountains. Okay, nice simple one to start us off here. If I was just to build a nice station right here next to Rotherham and another station right here next to, uh, no, that needs to be raised up a bit first, next to Warrington, we'll link them together, nice and simple. Right, this is a small, short line here, there's not that many people here, good chance there's not going to be much demand going on, so uh, a cheap train to run, we'll spend just 40 on that, and then for the wagons, we'll just go for, we'll just go for, say, Am I allowed to spend anything that's actually... No, I can't spend wood on any of those uh, those other ones. A simple basic pullman. We can get one in right now, but actually I kind of need some more trains to... Ah, spot on timing. 30 people about to actually pay for their tickets. There we go. Three pullmans. That should be plenty enough. Just 24 going backwards and forwards here. You, nice and simple. You... And then to you, backwards and forwards, off you pop, please. Thank you. Now, I think I also just saw coal starting to come in over here. Yes, indeed, coal is starting to come in very, very nicely indeed. Now, this guy can carry 45 coal, but already we're almost actually at capacity with this here coal mine. He's going to pick all that up, and then that's actually going to be him done for the time being. So, because the capacity is so big, we should spend extra money extending over here so if we were just to go one two three four five right there lovely there's some money spent then we just extend this line around to here this line gets extended and then this guy we simply change his routine to say actually after you've dropped off the coal come down over here to this mine then go and grab this mine and then drop it off and then the coal efficiency system will be running much much better also we could have some extra capacity going on here. There's Actually, there's a forest there, but there's no... Ah, there's no sawmills nearby. No, this place is just for coal. 
Now, how right was I about... Ooh, hang on. I might have slightly underestimated demand going on here. Close by to Rotherham Station, there's already 19 people waiting. I've got capacity of 24. Actually, you know what? This train's going to go backwards and forwards pretty bloody quickly. I think actually we'll be okay. I think that's actually probably about right. Meanwhile, has the situation in Liverpool... The situation in Liverpool is never resolved. Actually, almost is. It's almost managed to actually take care of itself there. Huge amounts of money handed over. Everyone actually leaves on train four. There's a few people who couldn't quite get onto the station. Sorry about that, lads. And instead, back over to Leicester. Yeah, that's all under control there as well. How's capacity up north? Capacity up north is... Uh, yeah, that train's a little bit... This train's a little bit OTT, to be honest. So never mind. That's okay. Now we've actually just got a whole bunch of money in. Now time to actually put my coal extension plan into, uh, wait, up into the, ah, sorry, it's up there. Sorry, almost extended the wrong line there. Right, you, round to here. Lovely. Now, you, my good man, let's now just change your orders. So you go to 20. Yes, that's true. Now you're on your way to 21. But then, after you do that, I want you to travel to 26. Okay. So you pick up the 26, and then you go to 20, and you pick up the coal there as well. Yeah, that works. And then you go to there. Okay. So if I've got that right, he should now be dropping off a whole big pile of coal. Because what's waiting for him here is going to be only like a half load. So we need to basically go to all these places to pick up a full load. And then we take a full load every time over to the tool works. And then that's going to produce a ton of coal really, really nice and quickly. So he's emptied all that there. And now that coal will start being converted into like a different sort of coal or something. Because right now the coal is on the station. Then it jumps over one time to here. Now, how quickly can you actually convert coal? Fast enough you could definitely be serviced by a second station. Well, that's just flipping marvellous because that's exactly what I'm planning to do. Now, to make this work, I'm now going to need a second station right here as well. Actually, it doesn't need to be... Oh, apparently I need to go demolishing flipping forests for this. That's fine. So we've got a station right there. And the station up there is already built, which is good because that means it's been stockpiling coal this whole time because it doesn't start getting stockpiled till there's a station to actually stockpile it on. Just... No, don't do that. Why would you... Okay. Let's just start from here. There we go. We went around the hill. You mad bastards. And... Okay, once again, we could do this more efficiently than what you're doing here. And then one, two, three, four. Just can afford that. And when we say just can afford that, it really is bloody close. So hopefully some passengers will actually buy some tickets in a moment, because now we actually need some money coming in. Still, there's 29 to pick up there. There's going to be 35... Okay, good. So right now, we're probably a tiny bit still, actually. Now, there's too much coal being produced. I can't quite pick it all up. But still, let's actually go into pretty mode here. Let's actually check out this train. Good old train six on board. So back into the coal carriage and... Ooh, coal carriage. Actually, it's not a great view because you're right at the front, unfortunately. So that, that is unfortunate. So, uh, can't really... Ooh, hang on. No, I, I can be inside. I can be inside the... Wait, the bloody hell am I? Is, it, is there a little cab? Okay, apparently there's a little cabin, like, in each of the coal carriages. I don't know why there is, there just flipping is. And there's the second coal mine over there, and then just whack over there. And sadly, hidden behind the hill, we can indeed see over there somewhere, is where we're dropping off this lovely coal. Oh, I love the fact you can just get down and drive the trains. And the delivery of coal is going very, very efficiently indeed, and will of course also get me a chunk of reward coal when it's done. Nice. Track construction is going well as well. Good. Just need to build a few more bits of track there. Come on, there's got to be some more commuter towns we can service a bit more efficiently here. Actually, they're flipping is Huntingdonshire and Basingstoke Dean are pretty close by to each other. In fact, actually, okay, we could theoretically bring them onto the... If we bring them onto the same network, then I don't need to build a new depot. And I need to build a ton of track anyway, so that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. But before we do that, actually, make sure we do actually get... Uh... Wait, hang on there. Ah! Wait, the depot situation. Okay. The depot situation is a bit more worrying, um, because I need to get the... Oh, dear. That depot needs to be able to get a train over to... over to here. Otherwise, I need to build a second depot, which I don't want to do. Okay. Hang on here. How are we going to fix that? Can we get the... 
Any chance we can get you to loop round to here? Okay, the game is saying that's okay, which is odd. Is that okay? Yes, apparently railways are allowed to just, like, do that, which is... Okay, That that's not... Okay, none of that's what I want you to do. Okay, good. They figured it out. We've managed to actually construct that correctly. So now, that's like that there. So now there's a way to get in and out of the depot. Now what I need to do is, while you are doing your... Again, not the most sensible way to do that. Now I need to get you onto... And when I say you, you don't even flipping exist yet. Now over in Depot 4, we need to get a new train on the rails here. Once again, we may as well go for the nice fast sort, because we can spend our money on more efficient things. So, uh, lumber's coming in pretty quickly right now. Get that down, and now we can spend the money on the wagons. And once again, I'd say... Well, actually, on this occasion, probably we just spend the money on the wagons. Yeah, because I'm a bit low on the old timber. So, that's only got a capacity of six. So that is a smaller wagon. So, possibly, we just say this one is just for a one-off. So, for the time being, let's just put five cars on that. That's okay. That's probably five. Okay, so that's only 30. That's only 30 go. How many can you actually have? If you can have a bit more, I'll give you a tiny bit more there. Okay, seven. That's good enough for now. So, all I want you to do is go over to here. All right. And then I want you to go to here. All right. Lovely. That's, that's literally all you do. And you'll definitely go the right... In fact, actually, I can leave this here because this is technically a separate station. So I don't need to worry about that. But you need to not set off until this guy is past that junction. Otherwise, oh, Okay, I could take a risk and see if I can make them cross over here. But that's a terrible idea. So I'm just not going to do it. Actually, screw it. I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to give it a go. It's going to be awesome. We're going to... It's going to work and it's going to be awesome. Okay, you need to start setting off faster though. Oh, you really need to start setting off faster. In we go. In comes the second train. <laughs> Okay, we should probably go backwards in its carriages right now. Uh, right, this is this is the rear carriage of this, and it's gonna be- Oh, it's gonna be fine! Oh, it's gonna be awesome, in fact! Oh, yes! Oh, yeah! Hi, guys! Oh, you should toot your horns to each other. Yeah, there we are. The two trains bypassing each other. Okay, that's awesome. Right. So you've got 45 capacity, you've got 42 capacity. At this point, there's- Oh, there's 52 waiting for you there. Ooh. Okay, that's because ah, that's because you couldn't pick up the full load there last time. That's fine. And now this guy joins up with the main track there, and now should take this branch over here, go straight through this platform, and go join up with those coal things over there. Perfect. Wait, hang on. What? Train, train eight, train eight. What are you doing? What are you flipping doing right now? Why are you taking that train to station? Wait, what? No. No, no, no. Okay, hang, hang, hang the flip on here. Hang the flip on. No, no, no. Your orders were to go to station 22, which you did, and then take to station 27. For what possible reason would you be over here? There's no reason for you to be here at this point, because now you're going to the... Wait, the only thing this leads to is the depot. Why are you going to the depot? That doesn't make any sense. You've not picked anything up. Wait, what the... What? Right, you just bloody stay there for a second, because I'm not sure what your deal is, but possibly we need to, like, demolish this bit of track after you've gone over it to stop you causing trouble. Okay, now it should be- oh, no, no, it's not safe for you to- actually, no, it should be safe, right. Ignore the next signal, which is stopping you from setting off, because by the time you get to here, he'll be in here, dropping stuff off, and then you can just get in behind him, hopefully- and you can get onto your branch before there's any more trouble. Okay, what's the bloody problem here, Train 8? Yeah, you get in there. Now, Train 8 needs to flipping go over to here. Don't set off too quickly, all right? Do not unload too flipping quickly. If need be, be ready to, like, you know, tell this guy to stop. Okay, he's unloading right now. Okay, and it'll take him a moment, hopefully, to set off again. If there's a risk of collision, I'm just going to stop him. Okay, he'll take a second to flip round. Then he's going around. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, dear. Uh-oh. Come on. Come on, little... Tra oh, no. Oh, dear. Okay, I see the problem. I see all the problems. I see... I see the problems. Oh, tra tra train eight. No, train eight. Stop, 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 stop. Balls. The problem is, for no well-explained reason, there's a, um... There's a stop thing there. 
I don't feel like there should be, but I may have misclicked while setting up. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, as I aggressively destroy the coal industry like Thatcher back from the dead, I think you get the point. And just to show you kind of, yeah, if you really want to challenge yourself, I just decided to actually load up uh, the largest map possible with mountains and lakes set to high. So, <laughs> I'm going to be honest, perfectly honest, South Lanarkshire, I'm not sure you're going to be serviced by a train any flipping time soon. <laughs> So yes, if you want to just challenge yourself by having a hugely mountainous and water-filled terrain, you're more than flipping welcome to. But you know what, right now I don't think that's really necessarily the point of much. Ooh, hello, who's that up there? That's Sheffield! <laughs> that's Sheffield on top of a flipping bloody mountain. Absolutely marvellous. Nice views! Nice views from Sheffield up here, it must be said. This is more of a little just kind of toy box at the time being. And I think it's going to be a love it or hate it sort of thing. Some of you will be watching this and be deeply, deeply confused why I seem to be having fun and not understand it in the flipping slightest. Whereas some of you may be immediately going to try and buy this. You can't yet. I think it enters early access in like a week or two. But I'll put a link in the description to the, uh, the Steam page below. But... It's a solid foundation. As I often say about early access games, when, you know, they're clearly going to go somewhere decent. It needs more in the way of, say, quests and multiplayer and, you know, other competitors, maybe other corporations building rail and more of a challenge to it. But I'll say, right now, it's a nice, relaxing little toy box. And in the spirit of that, hang on, let me load something a bit more relaxing. You can, if you prefer, literally just play with something like this. There's Chelmsford right there, right by to wait for the fact, quite frankly, you know what, screw it. No, hang on, I'm not having that. You two are blatantly sufficiently close together. I'm just going to make you join up, all right? There you flipping go. I have joined flipping Chelmsford and Wakeford. Marvellous. Sadly, the game still considers them separate things. Also, yeah, you can build roads. I don't know why, you just can. And if you want to, you can just, like, put down trees everywhere. If you want to just, kind of, you know, put down trees everywhere. If you want to make the town just a little bit more pretty, you can just slap down trees wherever you bloody well please. But yeah, this one is obviously a, a little bit more on the simple side. If you just want to do something relaxing, where you say, you know what, I'm just going to run a flipping train line from a forest to a sawmill, and I'm perfectly flipping happy with that. But I think you get the point indeed. This is Machinki, and I just like this sort of thing. Alright, I find this sort of thing very, very chill indeed. I just like making little railways and watching trains go and making the train go toot toot. I never really actually had a train set as an adult. I used to love playing with train sets when I was a kid, but I never actually had a train set as an adult. Possibly because, you know, having lived in London for many years, you don't really kind of have much space. So uh, I've never really had the space to have a massive great train set laid out. And these days, video games that you do that. In fact, actually, I think there's some like virtual reality train building thing. So that strikes me as very cool. I should definitely give one of those a look now I actually think about it. Yes, probably that at some point in the future. But in the meantime, I've been John. There's been many a true nerd. And this has been Mashinki, a very relaxing and very solid foundation potentially for something very special to come. Thank you very much, and goodbye. I've created a small problem in my road system, which is uh, it's literally impossible for anyone to ever go back into town. And this building shall be where we produce our zebras. And this much taller building next door is naturally where we produce the giraffes. Does anyone remember how the road system went? I think it was something like this.